this video, we're gonna show you some of the best attractions in Holland, Michigan. This town just became one of our top vacation spots. You're gonna love all the beautiful landscapes, the relaxing vibe, and its colorful Dutch heritage. To start things right, get a few beers at New Holland Brewery. How do you feel about getting a blueberry beer? I mean, it's, it's really good. But you didn't want to get the one that was like fruit punch. No, no, because it, it, it had like way too many flavors. It was, I think it had like passion fruit, apple, Peach. lemon. Oh, lemon, yeah. And I was like, uh, that that's just like way, way too many fruits for a beer. So I was like, yeah. let me just go simple with a blueberry beer. And I got, it's a peach cider? Yeah. Peach apple cider. How do you pronounce your plate? Um, Balkan Brie. Balkan Brie? Yeah, Balkan Brie. I was all like, ah, I want the Balkan Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, the Balkan Brie? I'm like, yeah, that. Okay. Uh, it's a pork loaf um, on top of a bed of red cabbage. And it's topped with, it was supposed to be a sunny side up egg, but I don't eat eggs like that, so over medium. Um, kind of like a pulled pork fried into a square patty. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really good. What'd you get there? I got the pork loin. It's mm -hmm. really good. Yeah, it looks really good. Mm. Really moist. We should try this. She just said that they have a back patio. Yeah. Let's check out the back patio. <laughs> So this town is most popular during the spring when they celebrate tulip time. But it can also be a fantastic summer scape if you live in the Midwest. A great way to get a feeling for the town is by going to the farmer's market on 8th street. It opens Saturday from 8 to 3 and you'll find really great fruits and veggies and snacks to enjoy during your stay. So what possessed you to buy that thing? It was, just, it was huge. I, I've never seen a zucchini this big. I mean, it was just huge. Look at it. What are you gonna do with this? It's it's about uh, a big, bigger than my forearm. Um, zucchini bread? No, not zucchini bread. Well, I guess so, because we'd probably have a lot of it left over. So yeah, we could try zucchini bread. But I was thinking of cutting it like uh, like wheels, like really thin thin wheels, and do like zucchini type toast if that makes sense. oh okay yeah that sounds good sense, yeah so it's really cool that it was this big Richard. and it was only a dollar it was only a dollar yeah so that's, it was even a, easier to, to make this purchase up next is the windmill island gardens it was designed to resemble a dutch village and has lots of picnic areas walking path and beautiful canals This place is also very special because it's the home of the Swan Windmill. This is the last mill allowed to be transported from the Netherlands. Even more amazing is that it's still operational today. They grind local grown wheat that you can get at the gift shop. It's, it's really big. I mean, I've always seen them in the background, so I didn't know that they were that big. So it's really impressive to see it up, up close. All right. Can we go upstairs? Yeah, I think so. I, I think you can go inside all, uh, not up to the top, but at least to the middle section. What do you think of that windmill? Ah, the windmill was really cool. You know, seeing the you know the gears and how everything works, it was really awesome. They okay, would use windmills way. as like spotters to see where you know enemies were coming from, and they would use that to 
let the citizens of the town know which direction they were coming in. But they also used it for other things, like if uh, they were announcing, they, they would announce a wedding, they would put like an angel on one oh, of the... Oh, that's uh, right, yeah. Oh, what's that called? One of the blades. Yeah, one of yeah, the blades, yeah. yes. So they would use the blades to mark yeah. like occasions and stuff, which yeah. was really cool. Some shoes. <laughs> I could take those and walk in Europe. Uh, really pretty. All right, let's try this. You get milk chocolate? Yeah, I got milk chocolate. That's really good. Another popular spot here in Holland is Nellis' Dutch Village. And while it's designed mostly for families with children, we actually enjoy the different shops and scheduled events. That was an awesome dance. Yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> Did you see that guy? Yeah. He was uh, yeah, one of the guys smiling did, too much. Yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> he was smiling a little bit too much. It was like right before the performance, they were like, "You need to smile. Don't forget and smile big." And he just didn't stop. He took it too literal. <laughs> so I'm just chilling here on the bench, right next to some really big hibiscus. Check it out. Big as my head. <laughs> well, yeah, this this is pretty cool. I mean, it's small, but yeah, it's nice seeing like what a. I, I've never been to the Netherlands, so this is really nice to get a little glimpse at what it would look like if we ever went. So we have to bring a nephew. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like start a rent a kid business, and you know that way I don't feel so bad about just because because it's more like for for kids, so I can you know take my nephew around or your nephew, yeah. and we can just put him on all the rides, and maybe we can. Go along for the ride as well. I won. It was the wind. <laughs> I couldn't get my shots in. After all the shopping and food tasting, 
we couldn't resist going back to New Holland Brewery. They have a fantastic beer garden with live music and drink specials. Did we mention that everything is good on their menu? One thing to note is that you won't find many restaurants opened after 4 as you'll find spots for breakfast and lunch, so it pays to plan ahead. Among the brunch options, we were recommended to try a local's favorite, the Windmill Restaurant. The thing to try here is the hash brown omelette. Not bad at all, definitely try the corned beef hash one. If you're here between the end of July and mid-August, that's when blueberries are in season and Barman Blueberries is a great spot to visit. Try delicious treats or just grab a bucket and start picking. That's a, that's a five pound box of blueberries. This is 10. <laughs> Do you know what we're doing? No, I actually do not. <laughs> Why didn't you uh, we didn't get like any instructions. You got like, okay, so how many buckets you want? Bam, just one. <laughs> I was like, well, how do I know which blueberries to pick? Cause yeah, the blue I, ones. It, well, no, I mean like, should we <laughs> there's be like, like oh. pink ones and well, you know, they'll give you like kind of like instructions. Well, they're they're gonna be really big or something like that. And like for for example, when we go apple picking, they'll tell you ah. They're all ripe. All you need to do is just pull. Don't twist. Pull, yeah. and you know that's that's the apple you take. But here for the blueberries, they didn't. So I hope I don't mess anything up. <laughs> I see, like these ones. This, Are like the really green. blue blue ones? Yeah, those those taste ripe. So it's not going to take forever to fill in a quarter of this. <laughs> Some that are so ripe that they just fall. Out. What are you making fun of? Because <laughs> Maria's like, do we really have to pick a whole bucket? <laughs> no. We just pick whatever amount we want and then they'll weigh it. Alright. That might not be enough for a blueberry pie, but good for a salad. It's good for I mean we can make a mini a mini blueberry a mini, pie. Yeah. How much did we get? We got two dollars worth of blueberries. Not bad. Yeah. Do you want to do this full time? No. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, before you leave, make sure to take some time to enjoy the lake. Find a relaxing spot and just take in the view. Remember that those 90 days of summer go by very fast. Let us know in the comments below about your favorite summer spot. Thank you so much for watching. And see you in the next one.